Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So we will be doing a full coverage gel tip tutorial today using some new products, um, products that are new to me actually. So before we get into the actual tutorial, I do want to share the products that I'm going to be using in today's video, starting with the items from Madam Glam. And these items were so kindly sent to me from Madam Glam to use in today's video. So I'm going to really quickly show you the um, products that were sent over to me from Madam Glam. So for Madam Glam, they did send over a UV lamp. Um, this is one of the small, like, four-finger lamps. Um, just looks like that. So they sent that over as well as a base and top coat. Um, I already have these in my collection, so I won't be opening the new ones um, because I do have two that are already open. So they sent over the base and top coat, and then they sent over three gel polishes. So these are the polishes they sent. I'm going to really quickly swatch these um, for you. So I'm not new to the Madame Glam gel polishes. I actually have quite a few of these in my collection currently. So the first color is a more azul and it's just like a light baby blue. And I'm just going to swatch this really quick on a swatch stick. And the thing I like about Madame Glam polishes is the opacity of them. Like this is just one coat of gel polish. Um, and look how much coverage you have. You don't even really need a second coat um, with these gel polishes. So the second one is in the color Tulips, and it's just like a pinky purple color, really pretty. Again, that is one coat of gel polish, and look how much coverage you have with that. This color is beautiful. And the last color is in Candy Pop. And it's like a coral, orangey type of color. Um, it's got a little bit of pink, a slightly, I would say maybe a watermelon. I would give this like a watermelon type of tone. But again, it's really pretty. And again, that's one coat. One coat of gel polish and it's fully covered. You don't even need a second coat with these. So I'm going to get all of those cured and then I'm really quickly going to show you the items that I purchased myself from Beyond Polish because I'm going to be using a new full coverage tip system today um, from Jellish and I'm going to show you those items um, as well. Okay, so these items I purchased from Beyond Polish. Um, I finally ordered the Jellish soft gel tips. I'm really excited to use these, um, but I ordered the medium square. And I'll show you what those look like. So for anyone who has like larger nail beds, especially on the thumb, the um, gelish tips do start in a size zero, zero. So they're wide enough for those of us who have larger thumbs. And as you can see, this is the length of the, um, is this medium? Yeah, medium square. This is the length. Looks really nice. And then I also ordered Long Coffin as well. And these also, I believe all of the tips start at zero, zero. Um, and this is the length for the Long Coffin. Forgive my hands, they're super ashy, but I do not apply lotion or any type of oil on my hand before I do my nails. So 
And this is the zero zero in long coffin. And I really love the length of these. So I can't wait to use these today. I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna use in today's video, but I'll be using one of them. And to go along with that, I picked up their um, tip primer and soft gel tip adhesive. So the tip primer, um, you use this for um, two reasons. You do apply this to your actual natural nails and you also use this to etch the inside of the tips as opposed to etching with like an e-file. So I'm going to be using this method today as opposed to etching the tips to see if they still last as long using the tip primer instead of etching and I'll be using the soft gel adhesive as well. Um, also, just really quickly from Beyond Polish, I did pick up two OPI gel polishes, and these are the only OPI gels that I have. I picked up Bubble Bath and then Funny Bunny, and I guess I'll swatch these really quick as well. First one is Bubble Bath, and let me move these out the way. Just like a really light pink color, kind of milky. So that is Bubble Bath. So this is Funny Bunny and it's just a milky white color. And that's what Funny Bunny looks like. Just a milky white. These you'll probably have to do two coats if you want them to be a little bit more opaque. Uh, but that's a really nice milky white color. And then finally, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is going to be this Flash Cure LED lamp from the brand All Kim. Um, I have gel tips that I got from Amazon that I really love that are from this brand. I saw this on Instagram and so I ordered it because I believe this is really going to be a game changer when it comes to applying full coverage tips. So this is what the little lamp looks like. Um, you've got the lamp and then you've got a little charger in here and this is what the light looks like. So this is like a gooseneck and it's... Um, portable so you just do like that it's got a power button um, right here to turn it on and when it's on that is the light and this is going to make it so easy for you to just slide your tips under and cure without um while you're still able to look and make sure there are no air bubbles or that your nail is straight, because sometimes I apply mine on crooked. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a game changer and you don't have to be at like an awkward angle. So I'm excited. I'm gonna be using this in today's video as well. And again, this is rechargeable and this is from the brand um, All Kim. So those are the items that we're gonna be using in today's tutorial. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with um, prepping these nails for application. All right, so we're gonna start off with a cuticle remover. The one I'm using is by Sally Hansen. I'm just gonna apply that and then use a cuticle pusher to push back the cuticles. Next, I'll be using this cuticle clean bit that I got from Kiara Sky, and I'm just gonna run this around the cuticles to kind of help push them back a little bit more. And this also helps to remove any of that dry dead skin that's still attached to the nail plate. Using a pair of nippers, I'm just gonna remove the cuticle. If you are not a nipper, you can skip this step. Just make sure you push your cuticles back. I'm gonna really quickly go around the cuticle area one more time with a fine grit sanding band to remove any of that dry skin that I didn't remove with the 
other bit and then I'm just gonna buff the entire surface of the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and size all of my tips. You wanna make sure that your tips fit sidewall to sidewall. And once I've gotten all of my tip sizes, I'm gonna use a hand file to customize any of the tips that did not fit my nails perfectly. So I'm gonna go in with this Gelish Soft Gel Tip Primer um, instead of my e-file to etch the inside of the tips today. So I started off with a really thin layer. I felt like it didn't really do what it should have done. So I did go in and apply a little bit more and kind of rub it in a little bit more vigorously. And as you can see, it did melt the numbers on the inside of the tip. So make sure you really kind of rub that in when you're using it to etch the inside of your tips. Here I'm just going to apply the primer to my nails um, as I always do before applying a thin coat of the soft gel adhesive to the nails and then curing for I believe 60 seconds. All right, so we're gonna apply that same adhesive gel to the underside of the tips. I like to scoop off the excess to make sure there's enough gel to cover the entire nail. And then we're gonna press down firmly, make sure there aren't any air bubbles, make sure our nails are straight and not crooked, and then flash cure in this little all cam lamp, which has been a game changer. If this is still available, I will link it down below. I purchased this from the All Kim website and I believe it was like $34 or $35. So if you've been having an issue with applying your tips because of the type of lamp that you use, this is really a great investment because it makes it so much easier.
So there was a little bit of gel that kind of seeped out during the application process. So instead of using my e-fall to remove that like I normally do, I'm just gonna take a cuticle um, nipper and just nip that little bit of gel away. And it works just as good um, as removing it with an e-file or a file in general. Next, I'm gonna take this fine grit. I believe this is a carbide bit from the brand Panna. It's a slim barrel. I'm gonna take this and run this around the cuticle area and this just makes sure to um, smooth out the cuticle area, seal the cuticles, make sure that there's no ridge or lip and that everything is super seamless. So I will link this bit below because it did work really well um, at completing this process. You guys, I really did do a good job on this application. I really like the way these nails look so far. Um, but anyway, we're gonna be buffing away the shine with a buffing block. If you're gonna be applying gel polish to your tips, you wanna make sure that they have a nice matte surface. So for these tips, you guys, I really had to do nothing when it comes to shaping. Um, so I am gonna run my file across the free edge just to get rid of that little um, piece that's on the free edge of the nail, but that's all I had to do um, when it came to filing. So for our base color, I'm gonna be applying number 925 from Beatles. And this came in the natural or the bare um, gel polish set from Beatles. I purchased this from Amazon. Yes. All right, so it is time for the nail art and I'm gonna be doing a cotton candy marble for today's nails. So I'm gonna take this gel polish in the color tulips and I'm gonna apply a thin line of that onto my little mixing plate. And then I'm gonna apply a thin line of the baby blue. Um, in the color Amore Azul right in front of that and use a dotting tool to kind of swirl them around a little bit. So I'm gonna be using this blooming gel, which is also from Beatles. And this just kind of helps to make sure the gel polish that you apply kind of spreads and fades out a little bit. You can absolutely do a marble design without using the blooming gel. Um, but I feel like this just makes it look a little bit better because it helps the colors to kind of spread out a little bit um, and kind of fade better into one another, if that makes sense.
So when it comes to applying the gel polish to get that kind of marble design, um, I literally just scoop up the two colors from the plate on a flat brush and just kind of swirl them around the nail into that wet blooming gel. And eventually it kind of, you know, it spreads on its own um, and just kind of fades into one another. So there's really no rhyme or reason to this. You just apply it. <laughs> Also, if you're gonna use blooming gel, you don't wanna cure this right away. You kind of wanna let it spread out a little bit. Um, and then when you're using this method for marbling, a lot of times there's gonna be a lot of excess gel, which is why you saw me kind of run my fingers underneath the tips just to remove any of that excess gel that kind of leaked to the side. All right, so now I'm gonna be applying some top coat. The one I'm using is by Madame Glam. And I'm just gonna apply a thin layer of this to all of the nails and cure for 60 seconds. So for the Madame Glam um, gel top coat, it is not a no wipe, or at least the one I have is not no wipe. So you are gonna have to use some alcohol to remove that, I believe it's called an inhibition layer. And then finally, we're gonna apply some cuticle oil. So the one I'm using today is from Gelish. This is their nearish cuticle oil. And you guys, this is the finished product. I really, really loved how these came out. They are so, so cute. I hope you guys liked this video and this tutorial. And yeah, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.